So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own Jumbo Punimaru banana and yeah, let's get started. So the materials you're going to be needing for this huge project is a big piece of foam if you're going to make the jumbo size, but for the mini you could just simply use a smaller piece. A big plastic packaging. Then I'm going to use a pink netting which I got mine from like noodle packaging. I know that sounds weird. You will obviously need some scissors. And for the paints, now, as you know, the pink banana is more metallic than the others. So I'm going to basically mix a lot of metallic paints together to get that metallic pink. So here are just some brands that I have. I don't want to use a lot of puffy paint, so I'm going to first put on some acrylic paint as the first layer this blue metallic paint you don't you could use whatever color but I do recommend a light color for making like an ombre effect I'm going to be adding red and some pink we also leaving all the packaging paints in the description box down below because there's just a lot to show and I don't want to make this part very long well anyways let's get started the first thing I did was make the banana this shape it may take a while but it will be worth it in the end so here is more detail of how to cut it so you want to make it a little slanted at the top and the end also when making this the banana has a square shape at each edge So I'm just smoothing the whole thing. Now to prevent from using so much puffy paint, I'm going to be using this acrylic paint and do that as the first layer. To make this part faster, I'm going to be using a blow dryer. I'm going to be mixing all the metallic paints together to make a metallic pink. Now I'm going to paint it on the banana. I'm actually making multiple layers with the pink paint. Using pink paint, I'm going to be putting it at the bottom of the banana and making an ombre. I'm also going to be doing that to top. Using red, pink, and metallic yellow, I'm going to be mixing that as well. And I'm going to be adding that at the top and the bottom to make that ombre look again. Using the same color, I'm now going to draw the monkey logo. For the packaging, I'm going to be folding a piece of paper and I'm going to measure out the length and the width for the tag. Once you got that, you're going to cut that out and round the edges.
Using a ruler, I'm going to be marking three lines. Now I'm going to be making small lines so I can make the squares. Now I'm going to be drawing the banana. Now I'm going to be drawing the monkey. I'm going to draw the other banana. Now I'm going to be drawing seashells. going to be adding another outline around it. Now I'm going to write Super Jumbo King Banana. And now I'm going to write King Chicas. For the top, I'm going to be doing the same thing I did on the bottom. Using some light orange, I'm going to paint the bottom all itself. Now I'm going to paint every other square. I'm going to be using yellow for the banana. Using light yellow, I'm going to paint the other squares. Using light green, I'm going to paint the other banana. I'm also going to be using a dark green. Using a magenta color, I'm going to paint in the letters. Using black, I'm going to paint the stem. Using black, I'm going to be outlining the letters. I'm also going to be using black to outline King Chica's. I'm going to use black again and outline the bananas. I'm going to paint the monkey a light brown.
I'm going to use black to outline the mouth, its eyes, I also outlined the eyebrows and its nose. I'm going to fill in the eyes with white and add black for the pupil. For the seashells, I'm going to paint it a light yellow. Then I'm going to outline it with a light orange. For the back of the tag, I'm going to write Pretty Maru. I'm painting the P orange and I'm going to paint the U white. I'm going to paint the N green. The I blue. I'm going to paint the symbol with yellow. And I'm going to use black paint and color the outer edge. I'm going to outline the letters with black. For the sticker that's going on the packaging, this is basically how it looks like. And you're going to paint everything yellow. I'm going to put tape on the packaging. I didn't show this part, but I added the clear packaging first on the banana with the sticker. And then I added the netting and attached the tag with a ball chain and that's it so that was basically it I hope you guys enjoy and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye